Hello, my. And welcome to another power packed Phillips podcast. Yeah, buddy. Today's podcast is going to be on lesson 7.6. We're talking about systems of linear inequalities. Systems of linear inequalities. If you would, please take a moment to draw yourself. No, not an ordered pair plane. I would like you to draw a coordinate grid on a piece of graph paper. Please take a moment to draw a coordinate grid on a piece of graph paper. In today's podcast, we are going to graph a system of linear inequalities. Remember that a system could be a system of equations if you have two or more equations, or it could be a system of linear inequalities if you have two or more inequalities. So we have the first inequality, y is greater than negative x minus 2, and our second inequality is going to be y is less than or equal to 3x plus 6. We are going to graph the first inequality right here. The first thing I'm going to do is look at my inequality symbol. Remember there are four types of inequality symbols. I notice that there is no equal to sign so it is going to be a dashed line. Then I'm going to say that there is an invisible coefficient of one right there. In fact, it will be a invisible negative coefficient of one. So negative one is going to be my slope. My y-intercept is going to be negative two. Remember that my slope is made up of a rise and a run. Rise and run. So I'm actually going to go down one since it's negative and then to the right one. If it's negative, I'll go down one, and then I'm going to go right one. So I'm going to start at my y-intercept, which is negative two. I'll start right here. Remember, it was a negative slope, so I'm going to go down one, over one, down one, over one, down one, over one, and remember, we are going to make a dotted or dashed line because it is not equal to. So here will be the first inequality we have graphed. Now we're going to decide which side to shade. We're going to shade above if the inequality is greater than or greater than or equal to. Since it's greater than, we are going to shade above. Since it's greater than, we are going to shade above. So I am going to just lightly shade above the inequality right here. And I do believe it is time for a brain break. And for today's brain break, I genuinely hope this does not happen to you when you take the EOC. I'm thinking if that happens to you on the Algebra EOC, you'll be taking Algebra again next year, and we don't want that. We want you to be in geometry next year. All right, so we have graphed the first inequality in our system. Now we are going to graph the second inequality. We're going to graph the second inequality. So I'm going to look at my inequality symbol here, and I see that it has an equal to. It has an equal to, so I am going to make this a solid line. It's going to be a solid line. I'm going to observe that my slope is 3, my coefficient for the variable x. Remember that our slope has a rise and a run. So since it's positive, I'm going to go up 3 
and right one. I'm going to start at my y-intercept, which is positive 6. So we will start here at positive 6. We will go up 3 and over 1. Up 3 and over 1. Remember that this is going to be a solid line. So I have a solid line. Now I'm going to say, where do I shade? Where do I shade? Well, I look at my inequality symbol. And my inequality symbol is less than or equal to. So since it's less than, I'm going to shade below. I'm going to shade below. So I'm going to change colors here. And I'm going to shade below. I'm going to shade below. So if I'm just looking at the second inequality right here, I've shaded below. When I'm graphing a system of inequalities, my solution or your solution is the shaded area that overlaps. Your solution for a system of inequalities is the shaded area that overlaps. So if I go back to the last graph, you should be able to see that the green and the purple overlap in this area. The green and the purple overlap in this area. That's where my shading overlaps. So on this slide right here, I'm going to darken this area where they overlap, darken the area where they overlap. And this highlighted area here, everything in this high layer, highlighted area, excuse me, is a solution. So remember, your solution is the shaded area that overlaps. All right, your summary. When you're graphing a system of inequalities, graph the first inequality and decide which side to shade. Graph the second inequality and decide which side to shade. Third step, darken, darken excuse me, the shading where the two shadings overlap. Wherever they overlap, darken that area, and this is your solution. Adios, amigos.